the first time I saw you in English class, I just kind of knew you were my person. Maybe it was your hall boots or the buoy paint on your jeans that reminded me so much of home. As much as we like to joke around about me chasing you down, I know it was God that really placed us together. You have become my best friend and my companion. With your curiosity and my creativity, I know our life will always be an amazing adventure. I vow not to just grow old together, but to grow together. I vow to wake up every morning and thank God that he gave me you. I promise to always consult with you when adopting a new dog. I promise to fight for you and to love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. Before you asked me, I was yours, and I am devoted to you in every way. I marry you with no hesitation or doubt. Tori K. Five years ago seems like yesterday, but we were sophomores in high school, and I was put into Miss Gray's English class. I had no idea that the girl across from me would be my wife. It truly never ceases to amaze me how things just seem to work themselves out. We have always lived that way together, knowing that if something didn't work out the way we had planned, it was for a reason, and that God had different ideas. You have always made me strive to be a better man all the way through, and showed me patience is a virtue. You have given me love and empathy, someone to talk to, and someone to build a life together with. I know that if we put God first in our marriage and work as one, we can overcome any obstacle that may cross our path. I promise to always be someone you can talk to, someone to protect and provide, someone who will give you unconditional love and support no matter the circumstances. And of most, Tori Kay, I promise you to be your best friend. There is no greater happiness for a man than approaching a door at the end of the day, knowing that someone on the other side of that door is waiting for the sound of his footsteps. Ronald Reagan. Cherish until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I Tory take you mine. I Tory take you mine. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For love and to cherish. For love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. Now that Miles and Tory have given themselves to each other by solemn vows before us and before God as witnesses, and have shown their affection and trust by the giving and receiving of rings and by the joining of hands, I pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Therefore, what God has joined together, let man not separate. I will come and kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Privilege yeah. to be the first to announce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Miles Beerman. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. All right. I love you. I think we head right out here. time and uh, with my great honor to announce for the second time Mr. and Mrs. Bierman. So uh, I texted Miles last night and told him I thought he was a lucky man. Seeing Tori here with him today I think every one of us would agree. Those of you who don't know me, I'm Bo Parker, Miles' cousin and partner in crime from way back. <laughs> I would just like to start by congratulating Miles and Tori on their big day. 
They're both amazing people, and it's so exciting to see them beginning their life together. I'm confident that their happiness now is only just beginning and will only grow as they continue to experience life together. Before I close, I would also like to pass on the congratulations from the rest of the Parker cousins and the family who were not able to be here. We're all very excited for both of you. I really appreciate you both and cannot wait to see what God has for you as you continue your journey in life not only as a married couple, but as a team. So now if everyone could join me in raising your glass to Miles and Tori for a long and happy life together. I'm Jordan. I'm Tori's favorite sister. Even though I'm older, I still look up to Tori, especially when I'm standing close to her. <laughs> no, really. I look up to her in more ways than one. Sometimes I think the big sister role is reversed. I admire her strength. Her wisdom exceeds her years, and she's always giving me great advice. I'm so happy that you have found the love of your life. I remember when you guys first got together, you just clicked like it was meant to be forever. For the past five years, we've gotten to know and love Miles. I know I can speak for all of us when I say we're excited to officially welcome you to the family. We are blessed to have you, and I'm grateful to be gaining you as a brother. I can't wait to see what, how God blesses your future and what's in store. May this be the beginning of a long and happy marriage. And I'd like to end with some advice. Make adventures every chance you can. Be supportive, never stop being friends. Celebrate every win as a couple, big or small. Pick your battles, it's not winner takes all. Life is unpredictable, save for a rainy day. In all things, don't forget to pray. Compromise is key and lots of laughter too. Remember your traditions and goals you've seen through. Capture your moments and hold them in your heart. I think we all agree you've gotten off to a great start. <laughs> Leave my thoughts on the table Set my keys by the door All these fortune and fate I don't think they need us no more In my head like a blitzkrieg on my heart like a wall Coming back to your heart now Cause this one ain't mine anymore Were you wear by yourself Dressed like an angel in white on the way Can you be like a drone from a song that I've known all along Can you take the, take the islands Just pulling apart the waves As I fall into your arms Tearing up roses as daylight approaches Just hoping to be what you want Hold me up with your bare hands Like some pillar of God on this road that you wander Burning like some bottle rock Let me fight for your honor Raise a wall for your truth Build it up like a fortress Wave the flag when I come Just pulling up 
guys think I'm done, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> this was a very important night. So we wanted to make it memorable, something you'd remember like yesterday for the rest of your life. Jacob, you want to help me out? Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> you want me to do it? I don't know, sing a song or something. I can't sing. There we go. Okay, so Miles probably isn't really the rapping guy. I know he's more of a country guy, but what do you think? Let's do this. Thank you all for coming. I'm glad Miles didn't turn around and take off running. Let me introduce myself. My name is Jacob. I'm her big brother, a.k.a. You Can Say Bob. I've watched her grow up from just a little baby. From two to ten, I've got to say that she was kind of crazy. But look at her now. She don't make a sound. From grooming school to grooming dogs for the town. Speaking of talent, let's take you back to school. Her class, I tell you, she would fly right through. But Jordan, did you ever see her doing homework? No. Mom was busy writing Tori's busy cheering. I also saw a lot of times that she was busy cheering. Remember she... Dude. <laughs> Well, how about a friend? I think her name was Jimmy. They played lots of club penguins. I'm glad that you. No, no, hold on. Is it mom? I'm glad you're together. I love to see the smiles like Miles. Love shutters. I'm glad that you found Miles. I'm glad you're together. I love to see the smiles like Miles. Love shutters. Speaking of that, you ever heard how they met? They were in English, sitting right at their desk. When she looked over, he was there fast asleep. She would grin and say hello for the next couple weeks. She tried to flirt. She was in awe. He was too busy hauling hull a bit trawls. Talking about the price, saying that he's stupid. Tori's right behind him shooting arrows like she's stupid. It wasn't that he wasn't interested at all. He just didn't notice, because in his head it was fall. He was in the stand, or chasing all the ducks, working on the outboards and working on the trucks. She stayed persistent for quite a few months, dreaming dates and dinner while he's dreaming about his punt. Till she saw her chance and sent an arrow right through. And that's the story, how their love turned true. I'm glad that you found Miles, I'm glad you're together. I love to see the smiles, like Miles love shutters. I'm glad that you found Miles, I'm glad you're together. I love to see the smiles, like Miles, love shutters. Now they're both in love, creating a wonderful life. Raising Bacchanelli, these two are the people we should strive to be alike in this life that we're living. They are role models, good examples of what's missing in this world. Look, look at them, they're happy. Just, Just look, look at them, they're laughing. laughing. They got it. They'll never fall. Through hardships and struggles, they will stand tall. So let's have a toast for the bride and the groom. May you catch many lobsters, many dogs you will groom. Many memories you'll make, some happy, some sad. But what you'll remember most is the fun that you had. While hard work's important, keep time for yourself. Your bond is priority, it's on the top shelf. So live life to the fullest and have no regrets. Say yes to opportunity and always respect. That you found miles, I'm glad you're together. I love to see the smiles like Miles love shutters. I'm glad that you found Miles. I'm glad you're together. I'm confident that their happiness now is only just beginning and will only grow as they continue to experience life together. Miles has always seemed more like one of my brothers than a cousin. Growing up, he spent a lot of time at our house playing in the woods with my brothers and me. It seemed like if we weren't hunting squirrels with their BB guns, slingshots, or building forts and waging war on each other, uh, we used to use wooden swords and spears and shoot each other with blunt arrows. Dad never let us use our homemade potato cannon, but I'm sure we would have. It's really a wonder we all survived without any major battle scars. <laughs> I'll never forget one epic battle we had here in Sorrento, actually. Um, not that I don't want to forget, I want to forget it, uh, but Miles has made it a point not to let me. <laughs> My brothers, Miles and I, found an apple tree on the shore one summer and had almost immediately engaged in war, throwing apples, rocks, and acorns at each other. At some point, Miles fell and acted like he may have gotten hurt. Being boys, we laughed at him, and I may have called him a sissy. <laughs> Boy, did we feel awful the next time we saw him and he was in a cast after having fractured his wrist that afternoon. <laughs> I feel bad about that to this day, but also I feel like it may have been a character building experience for you. <laughs> I'm sure you'll thank me someday. Yeah. <laughs> 
As we got older, our love for inflicting pain on each other diminished somewhat. <laughs> we began to spend more time shooting guns and going partridge hunting and trout fishing. Dad would buy us a box of 500 rounds of 22 ammo, and we would run through it in a day, shooting targets in our pasture. Pretty sure our elderly neighbors don't miss us. <laughs> but it wasn't all play. When Miles was around, Dad certainly tried to get some work out of him. <laughs> uh, Miles was a genius at getting out of work. <laughs> Whether we were shoveling snow off our roof or sanding the driveway, Miles always seemed to be the one taking some kind of a break, <laughs> as well as keeping close tabs on the progress of whatever mom was making for lunch. Uh, but he really has come a long way. He now owns at home two trucks and captains his own fishing boat, a long way from the 11-year-old that came to spend a week at our house with only a t-shirt, his hunting knife, and a pair of boxers. <laughs> Looking back over the last four or five years, it's pretty cool to see how far both Miles and Tori have already come. I have not known Tori for a long time, but in the time that I have, I've known her to not only be a beautiful girl and a kind person, but also a motivated and ambitious entrepreneur. Uh, they both work hard to accomplish their goals and are not afraid of putting in the work to get where they want to be in life. Miles and Tori are busy people, but they still find time to do things they enjoy and spend with each other and their friends. Family is very important to both, and they're both the kind of people that will go out of their way to be there for those that they care about. The writer of Proverbs wrote, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. That certainly rings true for both Miles and for Tori. Before I close, I would also like to pass on the congratulations from the rest of the Parker cousins and the family who were not able to be here. We're all very excited for both of you. <laughs> I really appreciate you both and cannot wait to see what God has for you as you continue your journey in life, not only as a married couple, but as a team. So now if everyone could join me in raising your glass to Miles and Tori for a long and happy life together. Cheers. Cheers.